Mark? Okay, let's do this. Ready. Please welcome one of the biggest international stars of all time. He sold over 70 million records worldwide. Please welcome Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Thank you so much. All of it has been so incredible, but nothing compares to the emotions I feel being with my family. Okay, dame un beso conmigo. I love you. Give me a kiss, Tino. Un besito. Pero vamos. So now, together, we begin a new journey. Ricky Martin is launching his first ever Las Vegas residency. We want to do something that has never been done. Vegas is the best that has happened to me in a long time. Vegas is a turning point for my career. This is the magnitude of a residency. This is for my mother, for my father, my entire family. It's also for the millions of fans who have supported me from day one, and for my new fans who are just now getting to know me. Everybody in places, please. The stakes have never been higher. I'm so good, it's not even funny. I just need to walk on stage. And then magic happens. Project Las Vegas, for me, is not something that happened from one day to the other. It's a project that started five years ago. The instant gratification for a project of this magnitude is, doesn't, it doesn't happen. Yeah, it's, you have to work, yeah, and you have to strategize, and you have to be surrounded by an amazing group of professionals that will help you and guide you to make it happen. Here we are. Let's do this. When I started in the music business, my parents got completely caught off guard because no one in my family is in the industry. I came to break the ice. So they were a little bit thrown in the beginning. <laughs> but for example, my father, he saw that I was so passionate about it that he took me to the auditions. And my mom, she will tell me, this was fantastic, Rick. Here you can change a little bit. And I am so thankful for, for your criticism. We got a night gaming? Are you cool? Hi, brother. Yeah, I'm cool. How are you? Fantastic. Look at you. There's so much energy. It's mm -hmm. like really? we're exhausted from all their energy. You know, it like sucks. Really? It's great. Oh, I'm very lo much loving it. Jamie King is a key part of my creative family. We first worked together on my Cup of Life performance at the 1999 Grammy Awards. <laughs> He's worked on some of the biggest and most iconic shows in the world, and, and I really, really wanted him as my creative director in this show. I want the audience to walk into the theater and to forget about everything for an hour and 45 minutes. And I said, let's do something amazing. It has to be something beautiful. It has to be classy. It has to be elegant. But we need to press buttons. It has to be sensual, sexual. Yes, why not? And let's talk about life through our music. Do you remember in, in Lakeland? Uh, yeah, the rehearsal. Do you remember? Yes. Uh, do you remember? <laughs> I remember you throwing a fit. Threw, Is that what you're I referring to? The table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. I'm just going to do what I naturally do. Now we're down to 100 and something. But okay. I don't, I don't want to show you that because it's, it's too much. I need to make one more cut so that you can see the best of the best. No, 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 no. You can't do this to me. me. I'm going to walk in with you. Yes. You do the cut. Okay. I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna say anything. I cannot wait here. Just okay. let me. Just, okay, well let's go in. Let's then. go in. Yeah, we'll just do it naturally. Oh, you don't know these dancers have been waiting for you like for two days. They've been waiting. They're so excited. Let's have fun. And Ricky Martin has landed.
for being here. Let's have a good time and uh, show off. Kick ass. Absolutely. When I was a child, for anyone growing up in Puerto Rico, the platform to make it internationally was Menudo. An amazing boy band that was a phenomenon for my generation and uh, for, for my entire culture that uh, broke boundaries. So I auditioned for this band. First they said that I was too young, that I was too small. I could decently dance. Uh, did I have the best voice? No, but they knew I really wanted it. And after four no's, I got one yes. So they said no to me four times, but I, I kept insisting. I was stubborn and I really, I really wanted to be part of this band because it, as, as I could see, it was, was the platform for me to make it somehow. I see how my heart goes faster. <laughs> All right, good. Let's go to the second group. This one is flirting, and that I like. And this one... No, 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 let's be honest. I mean, this is what's going to get me on stage. I like his, his maturity and his, and, his, and his attitude, by the way, is impeccable. And she's literally thrilling her ovaries. <laughs> Boy, she's really nice. I want to move fast and furious, and with you guys, I want to start making cuts now. This okay. feels so bad. I know, I know. They're used to it. I know it doesn't okay. make it. It doesn't make it easier. But the fact that they get to dance with you is huge. Downstage. Horrible. Like this is horrible. Fifty-six. 15 upstage! Seven! Downstage! 109! Upstage! 109! Okay. Out! Seven! Upstage! 49! In 2008, I became the father of twin boys. You know, when my kids were born, I started digging deeply into who I am and where we come from. And I started doing my research. Yes, we are from Puerto Rico, and we come from Spain, and the border between Spain and France, and the kids go to school in French. We have a tutor that travels with us. Yes, uh -huh. we, uh, we do homeschooling. I did homeschooling, and I'm doing fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing fine. A lot of people say, yeah, but they need to go to school. And I'm like, yes, I understand. According to our reality, it's impossible. And uh, because I could leave them with grandma, but that's not the idea. That's not why I became a father. I want to, you know, I want to spend time with them. So we're homeschooling, and they speak three languages. They speak English, French, si. and Spanish. Si. And it's really cool. When you learn languages, the channels in your brain are more open, and it's important at a young age they are exposed to different cultures. I think is important, but more than anything, it's, it's an identity thing. When I need them to kind of know where they come from. Twenty-six thousand dollars for just a box of pizza. Upstage. Can you imagine. Rip off. Talking about pizza, I would have a pizza Rip right off. now. Oh, this is good. Everything that I do is for my kids. It is beautiful when they realize that. Papi, which is how they call me, is not actually Papi for everyone, it's, he's Ricky Martin. And sometimes they come to me and they go, hey, Ricky Martin, what's up? And I'm like, I'm Papi. I'm your father, I'm not Ricky Martin, I'm your father. It's the cutest thing. We cannot talk about this now. It's important for me to be present in their lives, so I work hard to balance being a father and a performer. Now do you right. look? 45! Uh, 
Can you please look? Tell me really quick. We gotta go. Don't tell anyone. Downstage. 39. For those of you who didn't make it to the center, again, much appreciation and thank you so much. Dad, can we have a race? Not yet, puppy. We're so. Not Is it yet, a race? Puppy. A raise. He wants a raise. A raise. Money, I'm like, yeah. Not on the stage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can go. You can do it. You can do it. You can go for a raise if you want. You want to go to race? With who? With Tino. He wanted to run. I tried. I tried every step three times. Blah blah blah. Okay. You were blah blah blah. Oh okay. Oh okay. We're gonna do, got it. Uh, First, first performance. I remember my manager told me you have to stay standing still in this spot because of the light. The light will hit you here. But I got a little bit too excited <laughs> and I started dancing all over the stage. <laughs> I I couldn't control myself. The audience was having a good time. I was having a great time and and then before the show was over, my manager was saying, What is wrong with you? I told you to stand in that corner. And I'm like, and I look at myself now, 20 something years later, and I'm still doing exactly the same thing that I did that first time that I was on stage, moving from one place to the other. But I just want you to know that we're all going to Vegas. If you are, we're going to Vegas. It's not about the RM family, that's how I work. I don't know how to do it any other way. So do something at the end of the season where I just wear my underwear to walk on stage. My kids are coming to my wedding and I'm, I am marrying this man who is the love of my life. Unfortunately, there's a lot of homophobia. There's a lot of ignorance. I have the opportunity to have a residency in Vegas. It's massive. We almost have the entire show kind of like created and all of a sudden, okay, fashion, what's going to happen? And we're like, Right, what's gonna happen? Who's gonna outfit the show? I mean, maybe like, hey, 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 I love fashion, and it, it had to be Dean and Dan for this show. Yeah. You're doing this, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes, Having fun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it all from Ricky you're not gay that's a career move to Ricky are you sure you're gay because you don't look gay <laughs> it's a no no you are bisexual but trust me I'm gay so all I have to do is be myself and that's it that's all I need but that wasn't always the case most people advised me that it would be a terrible career move for me to come out and uh that it could possibly ruin my career. You could say, as many artists have, yes, I am gay. Or you could say, no, I'm not. I don't want to put you in the spot, but, I I get, but it's, in your, no, and it's I, in your power thank to you do so it. Much for and I'm bringing it up, Ricky, because you know I that know. this I is understand. being said. And, thank you so and you're much even being named. For giving me the opportunity to express the rumors. But Barbara, for some reason, I just don't feel like it. The advice that I would give to my younger self, be happy with your nature, be happy with who you are, and be proud of your feelings. Be proud of your emotions. You have a white canvas in front of you called life. Put all the colors you want in it. And live. Live to the fullest. Never be ashamed of who you are. And I just started crying like a little baby. So why were you crying? Because I felt free. I felt liberated. I felt that I could finally say I love myself completely. The amount of love that I received from people coming from all walks of life saying, Hey, Rick, thank you for coming out. 
Because you coming out, I, I understand my father better. Because my father is gay. And because of you coming out, I understand my aunt better. Because she's lesbian. So it's been nothing but love coming this way. And yes, there is a few haters, but those few haters you just block. <laughs> <laughs> as simple as that. You don't like me, you don't have to follow me. I'll help you. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> About a year ago, I met Jean Joseph. He's a conceptual painter. And now my fiance. And instead of saying, Would you marry me? I said, I got you something. <laughs> <Bad>. <laughs> and then and then and then he, he was like, Yes. Um I said, I want to spend my life with you. And he was like, what is the question? <laughs> <laughs> Would you marry me? Aww. I am That's so it. happy for you. And then, Joan Spanish is, is good because, you know, he needs to talk to my parents. And yes, my parents, they speak, you know, they speak English, but they are very comfortable in Spanish. And he's, he's learning quite fast. Hola. No, he, he knows a little bit more than hola. Does he dance? Is he a good dancer? <laughs> he's a great dancer. Yeah, John is a great dancer. Yeah, he's so attractive. I, yeah. You know, he's Arab and he, he has it. It's, it runs in his blood. Yes, there's rhythm. He's, he has it. And now he's with this Puerto Rican. It's important. The dancing part is, is important. And he's, he's right there. It's good. I might jump into the gym a lot, so I might get a little bit bigger. bigger. A little bit, a little bit. It's already 50. It's here we go. Okay, let's just feel it. I've known Discord since 1999, 2000. I've been on and off working with D-Square. I've always loved what they were doing, but now they're just so ahead of their game. They're on point with everything they do. Their collections are amazing. We try to always push it forward as much as we can. Nice when it's Taylor Taylor. I know, he's got a beautiful yeah. move in it, too. Are you gonna have the show here? No, 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 it's gonna be in Vegas. How many people are they gonna be? There's about 5,000 seats or more. Cool, huh? In general, we want to put a black one. That's line. incredible. I like this one. That looks amazing. <laughs> because it also looks wet. That's it's beautiful. beautiful. Different shine. We've Good. arrived. Yeah. How's like that? Your piece of cake, honey. Thank you. Sick. So sick. I think I have like 13, 14 changes of clothes. I, I pretty much, I, I change a piece after every song, pretty much. We're in the desert, it gets hot, take your shirt off. Maybe we can do something at the end of the season where I just wear my underwear to walk on stage. So that's a great start. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Does Joanne get involved in the fashion of like the outfits? My fiance? Yeah. Maybe if they're a little bit too tight, he goes like, can they be a little bit loose? <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Boom, bah. Yes. Forgot that one. I have my moments of, of insecurity where I question everything that I do. Ah, I am extremely proud of my beautiful modern family. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people that get really uncomfortable with my happiness. This is one that could be faster also. Every time I love the time for fun, I need to get out of there early. Because I'm not going to run and I want to be here. Let's get it's tough one, man. Yes, yeah. Cool. Vegas is a beautiful challenge. Yes. Is that? Boom. Yes. Forgot that one. This roster of artists that have had the opportunity to have a residency in Vegas. We're talking about Celine Dion, Elvis, Frank Sinatra. Friends. Ed Mittler to Britney Spears to Jennifer Lopez. I mean, I can't complain. To have a residency in Vegas, I'm flying. 
Living la vida loca And her lips are Her lips are I have my moments of, of insecurity where I, where I question um, everything that I do. Uh, and then all of a sudden I have this moment of enlightenment. I go, snap, snap, snap out. Get out of here. Close your eyes and allow your spirit to tell you. And, and, and then everything gets better. So you go, make your arm, you went down, da 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 <laughs> They're only eight years old, and I'm like, okay, tell me, so what do you think? I really want to hear what you say. Well, I think that in this song, you did this step that I liked better, but not this. So it's really funny to have your kids telling you off. <laughs> and shake it. Hey, 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 hey. So it's papa, papa. It's funny, though, you do shake your butts. <laughs> How do you feel? Let's do it from the top one more time. Cool, cool. Really? <laughs> We're gonna have a whole show for him. <laughs> because you're funny, Bobby. Bobby, listen. I noticed that this what? was like my computer. Class. Yeah. <laughs> this is like when you come to class. Yeah, this is my school. Yeah. This, this is real. You're working in class and I work here. Yeah. I meant that this is just like. Ah, yeah, it's like your kung fu class. Got it, got it. That's true. Hey, 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 cat, cat, cat. Hey, ah, uh, ah, uh, eh. Hey. So good, so good. That's the sh right there. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Let's get with the dance. Not yet, not yet, but it will. You got it. Mateo y Valentino. Are they copying any of your moves? No, are they copying any of my moves? How about I am copying their moves? Because one of my kids, all of a sudden he's dancing one of my songs and he comes up with this step and I'm like, I like that step. And then I walked on stage and he was standing backstage and I'm like, hey, look. And I do his dance. And the reaction of the crowd was amazing with that little step that I was doing. So I kept on doing it every night. And now when I don't do it, my son goes like, how come you don't do the step? What's going on? It's the cutest thing. Put it thing to see the way she feels. So much goes into perfecting this show. Every day I'm working, rehearsing. Sometimes I feel like going down. Promoting the show to make it the best it could be. That was good. This is crazy already. This is home. This is home now? This has been home for quite some time now. We've been rehearsing like crazy. We want to do something that has never been done in Vegas. So, even though it's a theater, we let this big open spaces and it's about dancing and having a great time. Now is the time. Don't ever stop. Push it along, then let it roll. This is my addiction and, and what the audience gives you. It's it's your medicine. It's it is incredible. Sometimes I look at my videos and the things that I've done and I'm like, did I do that? <laughs> and it's all about the adrenaline. Yeah. It's uh it's been many years on stage. I started when I was twelve and and I feel the same emotions, man. Some things will never change. That, that, it's my vice. This is why I love. The only time that I could express myself back when I was a child was with a wooden spoon. And I would, I would, I turned it into a microphone. So I would stand in, from, in front of my grandparents or my uncles and my aunts and I would start performing. And, and this is me when I was nine years old, maybe 10. And I was doing TV commercials. And, but I really wanted to be in the spotlight. That nine-year-old kid singing never thought that he would have a residency in Vegas. But here we are. You have the two boys, but I'm hearing that you're ready to expand this family. Yes, I want a big family. I want a big family. Daddy's little girl, come on. No, but I come from a big family, so yeah, maybe two more, I'd say. We'll see what happens. 
As a member of the LGBT community, I think that we've taken amazing steps towards equality. And uh, it is amazing for me to be able to say my kids are coming to my wedding and I'm, I am marrying this man who is the love of my life. That's, that's something that back in 1997 was not even an option. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people that still get really uncomfortable with my happiness. There's a lot of homophobia. There's a lot of ignorance. And, uh, and we just have to keep walking. That's why, for me, it's so important to walk in a red carpet with my fiance. And I want to normalize this. I want the world to see how simple it is when you accept the love and how it manifests. It's all about love. So when I make a public appearance with my family, it's because, number one, I am extremely proud of my beautiful modern family. And because I know that somewhere in the world, there is that man or that woman, that teenager, that uh, will look at that picture and say, I, I want that. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. So, heavy mission, and I'd love it. Everybody in places, please. That's raw, That's rock and roll, baby. My mission is to make sure that crowd leaves content. This is I wanted them to see where I'm coming from musically, for those that haven't heard my entire repertoire. And I dared to perform and create a Frank Sinatra moment on this show. Luck, you tonight. Probably my favorite part of the show, Luck Be A Lady. It's sexy, it's elegant, the choreography is exquisite, the girls dancing with me, it's just perfection. It's my favorite part of the show, to be honest. told me 20 years ago that I was going to have a theater in Vegas for me to do whatever I wanted, I would have been, you're crazy, huh? It's not going to happen. And then boom, 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 and here we are. First of all, thank you so much for the last weeks. I know they've been heavy. They've been amazing. But you guys showed up every day, and your attitude and your passion and, and your intensity is something that I really appreciate. Thank you so much. You made it so much easier for everyone in the camp to make this happen. Please rest. Please because what's coming in Vegas is really insane. You guys take care of your body. You can party a little bit. Because we'll party hard after Vegas. <laughs> all I wanted to do was congratulate you all. You guys are a blessing. It's time to go to Vegas. Thank you so much. Let's do this. The opening of the show is me coming down on this platform that is 200 feet high. Nuts. Has Ricky tried that before? Why did I sign up for this? Hey, are you ready? Okay, this is serious. Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Ah! So one, ah, two, three, ah, four, ah, ah, five, All right, let's go. One more time. And he can go, he can show you the move as him doing it, or if he wants to put the harness on you and you do it first off, whatever you want to do. So uh, you let us know when you get up there. The opening of the show is me coming down uh, on this platform that is 200 feet high. It's, I, I suffer from vertigo, so <laughs> I, I close my eyes and I breathe. Let's give it a try. Do you, do you approve? Do you approve? I'm already raising me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Tonight will be the first time actually learning Ricky from the top. They have to actually harness him in, lower him to the little deck, unharness him, put his jacket on. Got it. So we slowly back off on how much time we need. I understand. Has Ricky tried that before? Do we know? 
if he's tried that. I don't think he's tried that portion of it. Do you want to go all the way down? Once I'm all the way down, I'm not going to come back. Okay, so <laughs> we'll send you all the way down. Let me let them know. We're moving slower. Nuts. It's nuts. <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? No, my God, he's a brave man. <laughs> Bless him. John, he's a very supportive man. And uh, I am I am very lucky to be working with John. Did I say just working with John? Yes. See, I'm even nervous when I talk about John. And that's good. I'm kind of I'm in love, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's give it a try. Okay. And I'm, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. That's breaking out. Yeah. Yeah. I would never do that. I would never do that. So then he gets onto the lift. He's by himself onto the platform. He unhooks the harness. By himself or someone with him. Johnny is going to take the harness off him, put his jacket on him, make sure his body belt is safe, mm -hmm. and then we'll call it clear. Got it. Great. Okay. But then the music starts, and then it's over. You're, you're not afraid anymore. Go make miracles, go make magic. Yes. We want to have a long run. In order for that to happen, I need this for security. I'm just going to blame it on the theater. The theater says that I cannot do my opening without this. And I'm going to trust them. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. felt amazing because <laughs> it was just me allowing myself to just go through emotions and feel and perform and everyone on stage was great so we need to celebrate The people that I work with, with my band, with my dancers, with my managers, we're like a big family. I mean, we spend more time with each other than with our own family. My kids motivate me because I wanted to be proud of their papa. I think my pants are falling. I do get nervous at times, even though I've been doing this for so long. Yes, I do get nervous. It is what it is. Okay, bye. Don't bless him, Bobby. Kill it. The crowd in Vegas, although it's a very international crowd, it's a crowd that wants quality when we talk about production. You perform in front of a very tough crowd, 
a crowd that is used to excellency when it comes to entertainment. I do get nervous at times, even though I've been doing this for so long. Yes, I have my moments where I do get nervous. It is what it is. I believe that silence is extremely important because when you're in silence, you receive all the information and then you can create, which is extremely important. Yoga, even though it's not a religion, became religious for me. I would wake up every morning and I would meditate, same in the afternoon, and, and it helped me so much. And when I focus on my spirituality, always, my career blossoms. It's incredible. I think my pants are falling. I think my pants are falling. I want to create a little perfect world every time I walk on stage where literally the people forget about all their issues in life and in school, at work. They just feel free. They don't feel judged. And I want people to be happy with themselves. And that's why I keep coming back. Here we go, guys. We're ready. Positivity. My kids motivate me because I want my kids to grow up and, and see videos of the things that I've done and I want it to be I want them to be proud of their papa. It's my last time. Go, go, go. Bye. Go for it, your puppy. Kill it. Thank you. No, it's okay. We'll do it tomorrow. Showed up. And now, all I ask you is to go have fun. We have a gift, and that is to show people uh, how lucky are we that we can just, with our artistry, just send some love. Every dance and every note that we play, we, we have a beautiful intention of just. So thank you so much. God bless you all. And let's audience is my vice. This is why I keep doing this. I'm ready, so ready is not even funny. Delicious new Captain Morgan Loco Nut. It's exploding with Good or yeah, you man? Let's do this man. Yes, sir. Are you kidding me? Good. I'm ready, so ready is not even funny. Part of my French. This is teamwork. Right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go! Everybody in places, please. The roar of the audience is my vice. This is my addiction. This is what I love. This is why I, why I keep doing this. Woke up in Las Vegas. 
in a fog, yet she won't tell. She took my heart and she took my money. She must have slipped me a slip in hell. I need the reaction of the crowd. The crowd is telling you, you've done great. Congratulations. We love what you're doing. Right, come put it to your brain. Come on. I just need to walk on stage and magic happens. It's like there are no issues, everything it's fixed. Be happy and be loud. Well, I love feet. Um, hmm. You know, it's so funny because I posted my feet. I I didn't know it was going to be such a success. <laughs> Everybody started talking about because I was doing it everywhere. I would do it in the pool, or I was, you know, if I was in front of the Eiffel Tower, I would put my feet. And if I was in New York, I would just. So I did it everywhere, and everybody liked. It. Yes. So I guess I have this thing with feet. Yes, I do. No one can control my feet. It's like Billy Elliot. <laughs>